Hello YouTube. Um, this is a, a tutorial on how to make a sprite go around bouncing off the screen in XNA 4.0. Yeah, but and it's pretty simple. You can do it all in the game one pass. Um, there'll be a two-part tutorial. I mean, it's screenshots because. Uh, quarters just not work for me, it just keeps crashing. And yeah. So, first off, create the game, then bring down three simple things a uh, texture 2D and two vector 2 the position and the velocity. Second, you want to go down to the draw and add the spot out stuff again, begin the call. I'm gonna look just by the draw, the texture 2D, the position, and the tinting. And then you're gonna want to end it with the spark patch die end. And, you, and then when you run the game with F5, it'll crash into this method, not except now if it's parameter, which is the texture 2D. The vector 2 can take null, because null is just Set it to the default, which is not a zero, but touch 2D has no default. Can't really predict what you're gonna use for a picture. Um, so, how do you fix that? You add a picture into the content, and then, well, it still won't work. You have to actually load it. And set this touch 2D to equal the um, text sheet loaded in. Um, the asset name will always be by default the file name of the picture. So you just do that. And then you'll notice it'll draw on the top left hand corner as your video. So when you go into initialize, you initialize the position and velocity. Position equal whatever you want, the velocity equal whatever you want. 4x4 four four means that speed is 4x or 4y, four you can change it, that's faster x, faster y, whatever you want. And then you see it's all 50 by 50, well, that's what I said, 50, 50 by 50. Um, but it won't be moving because you haven't actually done anything with the position and the velocity, so. What you do is you add a call in the update. Position plus the velocity equals the position, the new position, and then there. And I'll just draw it moving, and you'll see it'll go off the screen. So, in part two, we will add the bouncing off the walk side of the game window function. Plus, the if keyboard gets the escape method added. An update is just a way for me to quickly exit the game. So yeah, subscribe and watch the next video.